Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the best virtual assistant services. I'm so glad you landed on this channel. For the best organizing and decluttering advice, please hit the bell below to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Now, if you know me, you know that I love efficiency, you know that I love helping people organize their businesses and get their time really focused. One of the big things that I noticed, especially in my course that I run for entrepreneurs on how to organize the back end of their business, the number one step in the first week together, we really focus on tasks, what they're doing in a day, and this goes from everything from their personal to their business life. We really, really drill down on these tasks. And why we do this is because if you watch my video from last week, <laughs> you know that I really don't, I want to remove clutter from your to-do list. And I believe it starts with your tasks. You have to know that 80% of your time should be spent on revenue generating tasks that relate to your business goals. So we spend a lot of time going through this in my course, but what this reveals uh, during this kind of task audit is what I call it, is that there's a lot of tasks that you probably don't need to be doing, should not be doing, could give to somebody else. And in my experience, a lot of that somebody else can be a virtual assistant. That's why today's video is going to be some three places to find a virtual assistant or the virtual assistant services. If you don't know me, I'm Jane Stoller. I'm a life biz organizer. I've written two lifestyle organizing books and now I help entrepreneurs get the back end of their business organized like a boss. Also watch to the end because I'm going to be inviting you to book a free call with me all about whatever you want in your business organizing, but specifically about your tasks and getting them a bit more hyper-focused. Now, the, the first place I want to talk about is freelance websites. Upwork and Fiverr are the big ones. I've used both of them. I've had ex like incredible success with both, both of them. I've also had a lot of challenges because like anything, finding employees, good employees that work well with your culture and company is tough virtual or in person, I'm not going to lie. But Upwork I've used for a long time and I found my virtual assistant through Upwork and I have nothing but the best to say about her. But again, it took me probably about five or six to go through before I found the perfect assistant. If you want to learn about how I use Upwork, uh, please link to this video where I actually do a three minute tutorial on the back end on how to use it and set up and post for a job for that. The second place where you can find an assistant, virtual or in person, <laughs> is a traditional route. Go to your networks, go to job boards, post the job. Um, this is likely going to be a bit more uh, market focused or in your area and perhaps you need that. Perhaps the assistant might have to eventually uh, work with you or be used for errands or whatever it may be. So that is still completely an option and today with social media depending on the network you've grown you could probably find a lot of great candidates right in your own network and they probably already know your business a bit and have been following and might even be like-minded. And the third spot which I am very excited to talk about because I've been spending three years trying to find the personal, the perfect virtual assisted company and this is a company that manages them, that finds them, that provides them with the tools for example but still keeps costs low because for it might be, they might be located in a different country not North America. Um, so again totally up to you the preference of what you need if they need to be in North America or English native language whatever that may be but from my experience working with the Philippines and their staff I've been there I worked on projects there when I worked in corporate I have such great experiences working with them that I really wanted a virtual assistant from there plus it's well known fact that the wages are quite a lot less but I am supporting them as well and, and I'm giving them fair wage for their their work so I found a virtual assistant company that is actually, it's based in the Philippines, but I know the owners. He's from Canada and she's from the Philippines, so they created this company. It's been going for a few years now and it is phenomenal. So what it does is it helps find the talent, it teaches them, it really makes sure they're doing their job, it gives them the tools in terms of laptops. They actually do have an office, so the assistant can go to the office or they can not, you pay a, you pay a premium for if you have somebody monitored in the office. But this will, you might find the same caliber as you would in Upwork, but it relieves that time of looking for someone, having to interview them, having to go through several to find before you find the perfect assistant. They also jump on an onboarding call with you to you know your needs first, what kind of tasks, make sure it's a good fit, and find the right person for you. It is phenomenal. You do pay a bit more for this service than you would if you find it on a freelance site, but the results can be trifold, and you can even find a full-time person for your staff for under $900 US a month, which is extraordinary. 
Again, I've used this service. I'm referring it to my clients. And if you would like this information, I am happy to do an introduction call with you. All you have to do is click the link below and book a free 30-minute call with me to discuss your business because first I have to know about your tasks, what tasks you'd be given to them. Make sure you have that organized before you jump on a call with them because they really want pre-qualified candidates who already know what the assistant would be doing and to make sure that it's organized. But I'm here to help you with that and I cannot wait. So please click the link below if you're interested. I've been bombarded and I also have my assistant working on this too to help me make sure it's a smooth transition and my clients get to get in front of them as well and when they are, they're ready for what tasks they want to outsource. So those are my three areas where you can find the virtual assistant and their services. I hope you liked this video today and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, consider sharing it and of course subscribe and I hope to see you next week.